Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike from Obox, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a really cool effect to get an Earth-like um, planet or sphere of any sort, whether it be cartoonish or kind of with a more realistic uh, view. So it's gonna be an After Effects tutorial, like all other effects tutorials I've shown so far. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and open up After Effects. Now this uh, can be used for a number of different things. You can create your own planets. You could use um, kind of maps of the actual Earth, or you can, I mean, you could do what you could do all kinds of stuff with this, even if you just want to make a regular sphere. So we'll just set a 10 second composition. That looks good to me. And I noticed in some of my other videos, I didn't quite make the composition area big enough, so it might have been hard to tell. I, I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so I'm actually just gonna go into my um, my assets folder and I'm gonna look for a, a space background that I had created for a different video on for my main channel. If you wanna check that out, you can, but it's in here somewhere, there it is. So this space background essentially is an illustrator or not an illustrator, a After Effects save file that you could just drag right in After Effects if you ever needed that. So I'm just dragging the background composition in. It's just a simple cartoony background with stars and stuff like that. So I think it looks pretty cool. So what we're gonna wanna do now is create a new composition and this will be where the Earth's layers will sit. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because you're gonna add the effect onto that um, composition or that pre-composition and so all the layers will be smushed and so that way when you add the sphere, there, it, it gets applied to all of them. So in Illustrator, when you drag files in, you wanna make sure that says composition, by the way, if you wanna maintain all the layers. So I created a earth template or an earth map in After Effects by using this standard basic one I found online. You notice the tops and the bottom um, are kind of stretched and the reason why they're stretched is because when you actually do the sphere They become unstretched I guess because this is a sphere that, that was turned into a flat image and that's exactly the kind that you want In After Effects I make or I mean in Illustrator when I do these drawings I make them kind of crazy colors. So I'm just gonna go into effects uh, Generate fill if I could find generate there it is uh, generate fill and I'm just gonna make them more appropriate colors. It's just in Illustrator It's a lot easier when the colors are crazy to determine what you're actually looking at And I didn't want to really put a lot of thought into kind of the colors I wanted so of course the ice will be white the uh, Continents or landmass will be green and then the water will then be blue so again um, I just did this in, in Illustrator. I just traced over the map that I found online uh, Just so I can kind of get the cartoony look kind of more stylized look. It's not really perfect, but it looks pretty good and uh, I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. So let's see here uh, Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag in the map itself too Just so we could do a kind of realistic take on it as well I'm just gonna drag it in and then scale it down to make it kind of more appropriately sized uh, that way uh, both of the planets kind of look the same. So I'm just gonna scale it down that way and then scale it up by pressing shift and grabbing the tab and then it'll just scale it in the vertical direction. So you can see here that it is kind of like stylized. Uh, it's pretty close, but it's not perfect. So now going back finally into the actual tutorial composition, I know this has kind of been all over the place. I'm just dragging over the earth comp. So the comp that I just made. Um, I'm dragging it on top and I'm gonna search for sphere. So it's CC sphere, you just drag it, you drop it right on the planet, boom, it creates your planet. You notice how small it is? See, if I would've left the small composition before, it would've been even smaller. So expanding this up a bit, you can see here that, that you could rotate it on the X, Y, and Z axis. Um, you're mostly gonna wanna be dealing with the Y axis. Uh, see here, see how I just scaled it? See how funky that looks when you scale it like that? Um, we're gonna we're gonna back out of all that. And we're just gonna we're just gonna scale up the radius of the planet, um, and then go ahead and scale the sphere back down. So so it gets really funky. So you want to make sure it's kind of it's kind of big enough. So again, increasing the radius there um, is is where you really want to go if you want to increase the size of the sphere. So again, um, it has a nice shadow already, but. Uh, uh, for the cartoony effect, you may or may not want the shadow. See how you see on the top and on the bottom how, how the Earth actually looks very close to the actual shape of the Earth. Um, and it's because we we made sure we used a map that had the stretched top and stretched bottom from a spherical Earth into a flat map. Again, I know this is all over the place. So what I'm gonna be doing here now is I'm gonna show you how to change the lighting so it looks more, more cartoony. So you're, I'm just increasing the ambient all the way up and then 
putting the light intensity all the way down and then adjusting the ambient to uh, fit my liking of the darkness that I want and that looks good so again turn the light all the way down and turn the uh, and turn the ambient light uh, kind of adjust it until it looks good so uh, because the earth is is rotated in different ways again you could you could do all kinds of different things with all the rotations but essentially um, it just it just depends on what you need a, a typical just zero rotation looks good uh, but if you want to make the planet to actually to spin you're just going to want to deal with the Y rotation and set keyframes there so let's go ahead and actually and actually do that we'll go ahead and just kind of rotate so you can see that it kind of does give a really cool 3d effect there with this sphere so we'll go ahead and, and probably um, just set everything back to zero and then set some keyframes right about now. Yeah, so we set a keyframe there by pressing the stopwatch, scrolling all the way to the end and adding some slight rotation. You don't want to have it rotate too much because in truth, the Earth doesn't really spin a whole lot. So it kind of it makes it look a little bit nicer when it spins at a slower rate. So again, you could do this with this type of planet, cartoony effect, no shading at all, no, no lighting at all. Um, or you can then, uh, then um, all you have to do is just do this with a typical map that you find online and um, make it, it'll look kind of more like a real earth and just kind of change the background, make the background look more realistic. And then you could turn like the lighting on and stuff and make it look like it's actually a planet. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I know it was all over the place, but I hope you did learn something new. There was kind of a lot of things to cover, but I think that it came out pretty cool and it's pretty simple for you to do. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want to see more, please do subscribe. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.